There might not be a more beloved bird in Minnesota than the loon. It's on the state seal, of course. It's the mascot for our soccer team. And most recently, it gained the ability to shoot lasers from its eyes, <laughs> according to one artist. But have you ever seen one like this? It was spotted north of the border in Canada. I talked with the photographer lucky enough to capture these rare photos and learned how a bird known for its distinct black color could have the opposite. Waterfowl on lakes and rivers are a common sight, but it's the not so common loon that when seen in person is often the apple of a photographer's eye, especially Chris Witte. I've been taking pictures of, of loons and, and, and birds on the, on the various lakes for a long time. Capturing wildlife on camera is one of his favorite hobbies, usually involving a trek to a remote lake in British Columbia, Canada. Loons frequent his area, some even nesting, but there's a white whale of sorts always on his mind. If you go out looking for something, in my experience, uh, you're not going to find it. It's kind of a surprise. Which is precisely what happened on a spring morning. I'm like, oh, there's a couple loons. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's the white one. Four years after first seeing it, the elusive white and gray feathered loon was back at his favorite photo spot after hastily getting out of his car. And I didn't even put it in park. I'm like, oh, because it started to move a bit. He glided across the water like the great northern diver in his lens. So what I like to do is I like to sort of paddle slowly and quietly and kind of get in the angle for the light and then just stop and then just watch. And they just tolerated me for, for quite a while and probably spent an hour in their proximity um, just taking whatever you can, right? And it's shocking. Yeah, I've never seen one in person and I've only, you know, seen pictures on the internet. They, Dale Gentry is the director of conservation for Audubon Upper Mississippi yeah, River. Yeah, so. What's happening with this loon that its feathers are white and gray? Albinism and 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 a leucistic bird, they, they have a some sort of genetic uh, change that influences the, you know, the genes that code for um, a pigment in their feathers called melanin. When an animal is albino, it cannot produce melanin, which gives its animal its color. Therefore, it's white. Leucism is when an animal lacks some melanin, therefore it's partially white or gray. It's much more common for birds to have little patches of white feathers. That's not terribly uncommon, uh, but for, for the entire bird to, to be uh, in sort of leucistic plumage is, is, is less common. He estimates one in 30,000 birds, meaning all species, is leucistic, only adding to the rarity that a loon, known for its strikingly black plumage, would carry the opposite color. And a number of questions pop up, right, for me about 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 the bird and if it is if it has a mate and if it's being, you know, how it's received by, by the community. If the white loon does mate, Gentry says the leucistic trait could be passed down, but it could be recessive, meaning the chicks would still have their normal dark color. Whether it has offspring or not, the chances Minnesotans would learn that in person are slim to none. I think something like 97% of North America's loons nest in Canada, so we're kind of an outlier. I don't know where this one's home base is. Witte says birders have begged him to keep the lake's location a secret. That way it doesn't get flooded with photographers. A request he's happy to oblige, even if the encounter is truly up to nature to decide. It's funny, um, you go looking, you won't find it. And it should be noted that a loon's plumage, its feather pattern, changes color in the fall. It typically gets lighter, more gray than black, meaning this one could be even whiter that time of year. So and you got to see some loons up close recently as well for a story yeah. you're working on. Yes, we are working on a very special story that I can't tell you about yet, but we have we've been lucky enough to go see some loons hatching and little chicks and it's been such a pleasure. But those photos are Wild. amazing. It's, I mean, we're fortunate that he found it. Uh, it's I've never seen anything like that. Had, had he because he does a lot of just just on that lake four years earlier and every year he goes out hoping it Couldn't comes back yeah. and it hasn't. He has since shared these photos in a Facebook group for people who love loons mm. and did not realize it would take off like it <laughs> yeah. did. He said he never had so many notifications <gasps> in his Look life. Loons are pretty birds already, but then mm -hmm. you add this aspect to Sweet, it. Sweet, soft cool. little head. And I don't yeah. know. It makes them cute, like you said, instead of more. I don't know, is majestic it? or kind of intriguing. Yes. This is just downright cute. No, that's a hot bird. That's a hot bird. <laughs> the <laughs> expert we talked with, he called the ones that have the black plumage, he goes, they're haunting. Anyway. Haunting, yeah, yeah they but have a different vibe. that one softens it.